Right. Hello, Mark here. Nice to see you. Uh, it's tense. Take two. It's a test camp day. So uh, we're off to a little campsite just south of Seven Oaks. Uh, just got all my kit, all the all the all the shit I'm taking to Dartmoor in three weeks. I've got it with me, purely for the purpose of seeing how it all works. See how I work with it. Is there anything that I take with me that I can't imagine ever using? Um, the weather's going to be decent tonight. No rain. Wind of about 20 miles per hour. So I'm not expecting... Um, let's turn the radio down. <laughs> I'm not expecting to need my waterproofs or anything like that, but I brought them with me anyway. And uh, yeah, it's about an hour's drive to the campsite. So I will see you when I've parked up and probably set my temp tent up. Anyway, first camp. First camp since 1996. Let's go. All right, campers. Got the tent set up. That's fucking like room work for a fat fella. <laughs> and the campsite. Lovely area, but very busy. <sighs> we'll come back when this is all set up. Putting up a tent is mackering work. <laughs> I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. And I'm on a slant, so over the course of the evening, I'll slowly slide that way. Unfortunately, it's a really busy campsite um, with designated pitch. I was hoping to get a pitch right up against the fence where the sheep are, but unfortunately they're on the other side of the little park road. Um, Somehow bugs have got inside my tent. Fail. <laughs> oh dearie me, but I've got everything set up. I'll show you in once I can sit up. Um, in fact, I'll try and do that now. Uh! Right. <laughs> that wasn't easy. Um, I've got to turn you around. So, Plow Peak 2. Nice and roomy. I've emptied the bag out, got my sleeping bag, which I don't think I'm going to need tonight. It's going to be like 14 degrees. Um, probably down that end. Me struggling to get up, just pushed <laughs> the sleeping bag all awry. Um, and out here is going to be where I'm going to be doing my cooking. I've got some food. Let's see what meals we've got. What we've got. The Wayfarer all day breakfast, that's for breakfast. Mince beef hot pot. So the ball in the breakfast is a ball in the bag. Well, the all day breakfast is a ball in the bag. Excuse fingers. This is a add hot water to bag. And uh, let's hope that it doesn't give me a dicky tummy or I'll be making my own hot pot later. Um, Wayfarer boil in the bag chocolate pudding. And got a couple of these little hot chockies. A coffee for the morning, caramel latte. And my favourite. Milk chocolate raisins for tonight while I'm watching a couple of films. Um, so yeah, in my last video I talked about smart water filter and bottles in the UK what fit it. This is a still water that's basically like a smart water bottle in the US. So it's got the, the lid and the threading. Let's heat it. I bought myself a little cute mug on Etsy. Not ultra lightweight at all because it's made of metal of some sort. And since my last video, 
my titanium spork has turned up. So I'll be using that later on as well. So the Cloud Peak 2, again it was fairly easy to put up. Um, I haven't put the guy lines up. The winds aren't going to be bad tonight. Just a, just a breeze, apparently. So for those of you wondering why I'm doing a test camp, rabbit ears, test camp in a campsite. Um, first time I've been camping since 1996 or seven. One or other. Um, so I wanted to one set up everything in an environment I'm not used to, because that's what's going to be happening when I'm camping, right? And um, two, I want to sleep in a tent before I go to Dartmoor, and I can't sleep in our back garden because it's a shared back garden with our block of flats. I don't want the neighbours coming down and sticking their head in, wondering what the fuck I'm doing. What the F I'm doing. Sorry, mummy. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's have another closer look at this tent. So you can see, nice ventilation there. That's another exit. That looks the way to the sheep, but there is a road there. Um, might get a view out there later when the sun's going down. And yeah, nice big awnings either side. There's another one on this side, but I don't have it up. Or I have it up rather. So yeah, mattress blew up okay. I'm hoping it doesn't go down overnight. Um, and I am a big fat fella, so it may well go down. So yeah. Um, I'm not rocking the nice road microphone at the moment. That's all in there. But I'm gonna get it set up later, maybe. But this is all this is a test of everything. So yeah. So I'm going to chill out for a bit, uh, take my socks off. Um and I might cook up some tea in a little while, but not just yet. It's still quarter past six. And I'm not quite hungry yet. Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you back in a little while when I'm ready to cook. So you can see me test my stove, which I've never used. And watch me burn my eyebrows off. <laughs> okay, let's get some food done. Microfiber dishcloth. Just keep it here so it doesn't get dirty. Nice big fuel canister. I think that's going to last me a little while. Got it on the stand. Got our little orange box stove. Just fold out. 
fussling. Now I did mention that I've never used this before. Okay, that's boiled. Give it a good stir. So there you go. First time I've ever used my cookpot. Took me, I had to actually look up on YouTube how to attach it because I'd attached it and nothing was coming out gas wise. I just hadn't put it on enough. So that's my mince hot pot. It's got this water in. Gonna let that sit for 10 minutes now. Um, make sure that my gas is off because I just left, left it on when I was taking the water off. And I've got a little bit of hot water left which I might use for my boil in the bag or I might make a, a cup of hot chocolate in fact I'll do that I think anyway I'll come back to you in 10 minutes Okay, this is what we have. I don't know if that'll focus. Chocolatey. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that. Then I think I'm going to go for a wee, and then I'm going to settle down for um, settle down for the night. I've got a couple of films to watch from Netflix. Uh, sun should be going down in the next 40 minutes or so. So the uh, campsite rule is to be quiet after 11. And it is a little bit noisy, so hopefully it calms down. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. I'll see you in the morning.
morning. How did you sleep? Uh, it wasn't so bad. Um, it was noisy, people-wise, until about quarter past eleven, and then it quietened down a lot. It was so peaceful. Um, and I woke up at five to the roosters, which was nice. But I tossed and turned all night. Um, so my sleeping bag, which opens up like a quilt, I was originally using fully open, but sleeping in it like a sleeping bag, so pulling half of it over me. And because I toss and turn so much, just normally during the night, it kept getting messed up around me. So they kept me awake trying to sort that out. And I think my Thermarest air mattress, which is awesome by the way, didn't go down at all. Not even a titch. Um, I think I may have blown up a little bit too much. So I've seen videos before where people like to deflate theirs just a little bit, like, like that much. Just to make it a little bit softer. So I think I'll have to do that. I've taken it down now just a little bit, maybe a little bit too much, but slightly more comfortable. My hip is touching the ground through it though, so not perfect. Um, it is currently 6.22 a.m. I'm not going to bother cooking breakfast this morning. I'm going to be leaving at 8. Um, and I'm going to start packing up at 7. So until then, I'm just going to chill out. I've really enjoyed it. Other than the poor sleep. But, like, being in your own little private space is really nice. And waking up to the roosters was nice, even if it was 8 or 5am. So, uh, yeah. I'll be going home at 8, getting home by 9. And possibly going for a nap. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed my little film, and I will see you on Dartmoor. Alright, see you later.